North Korea is going all out to demonstrate its military might, using vast amounts of missile resources this week alone and firing more projectiles than ever before. That's not even factoring in a possible first nuclear test since 2017, which may or may not be imminent. And this is all during South Korea's period of mourning following Saturday's tragic crowd crush in Itaewon. North Korea is believed to have test-fired an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, Thursday morning, according to South Korea's military, followed up by two short-range ballistic missile launches. The fact an ICBM test is suspected is significant because that would normally warrant a stern response from the United Nations Security Council, but it was blocked by China and Russia from introducing new sanctions against the North earlier this year. That may have emboldened North Korea, which launched an unprecedented number of missiles Wednesday, reported to be around 25, at an estimated cost of up to 75 million US dollars, according to analysis by American defense expert Bruce Bennett of the RAND Corporation. South Korean President Yoon sung yeol has made repeated visits to Itaewon, as well as to a morning altar in front of City Hall in Seoul, with the South's official period of mourning running through Saturday. It was even more provocative then that one of North Korea's ballistic missiles fired Wednesday landed well south of the disputed inter-Korean maritime border and just 57 kilometers off South Korea's east coast city of Sokcho. That was a first since the Korean War, and South Korea responded by firing three precision strike air-to-surface missiles north of that same maritime border, the so-called Northern Limit Line, as President Yoon accused the North of an effective territorial invasion. North Korea appears to have been motivated by the joint South Korean-US vigilant storm exercise involving more than 240 aircraft, including advanced stealth jets, and running for five days from Monday. Officials from the North have sent out verbal warnings this week, such as by threatening South Korea and the US that they will pay a terrible price if they attack the North, and warning of more powerful follow-up measures if the US continues ceaseless and reckless military provocations. The US has used that same word, reckless, to describe the North's actions, and we're just moving further from a peaceful solution.